Hi, my name is Michael with Iconosys. We've developed our Shutterstream and Shutterstream 360 product photography softwares to automate your product photography workflows when shooting images in-house. Today we're going to be walking through a workflow video communicating the auto-apply editing profiles immediately after capture. This feature is designed to further enhance your throughput and workflow efficiencies when working with our software. Uh, the setup that we have today is a compatible camera, just an entry-level DSLR from Canon, connected via USB to the computer, and our medium LumiPad 360 lighting kit. This consists of two lighting panels up front, and then one backlight panel, and then we also have our silver mid 360 product photography turntable. The subject we'll be shooting is our uh, Buzz Lightyear. Um, a white product, uh, typically shooting a white product on a white background is difficult, so we really wanted to put these features to the test. So let's go ahead and take our object and we'll place it in the center of the turntable. And again, our camera is connected via USB to our computer, so we'll turn the attention over to the software and we'll walk you through the workflows. Okay, so the first thing we're going to see inside the software is that our camera is not quite shooting centered. And there we go. I've just adjusted our camera. Obviously, this is a real-time preview. You can probably see my hand going back and forth in front of the camera. The first thing that we're going to notice here is this is very underexposed. So I'm just going to make a couple of quick changes to my camera settings, specifically my shutter speed, to kind of optimize my camera settings for my lighting environment. And one thing I'm actually going to do is shoot this image underexposed just to better communicate how the editing profile works. So this looks pretty good here. I'm also going to pre-crop my subject saying that I only want to take a picture of what's inside, say, this area right here. And what we'll do is just go ahead and hit snap. And you're going to hear the camera snap, and it'll take that image and instantly transfer over to our computer. And again, this is very underexposed. Um, we're just shooting this way just to better communicate how our kind of profile will work. So I'm going to hit my editing tool now. This will open up the image in the editing area. And what we want to start to do is start to make our adjustments. Um, and first and foremost, a lot of customers will come to us and require images with pure white backgrounds, whether it's for their own website, for Amazon, or any kind of uh, sales channel. Um, what we have is tools that can help automate that process. So um, I've selected up in the top right corner here the eyedropper tool and I'll hover my mouse over my image and if you look just right here where it says RGB where my mouse is highlighted you're gonna see that it's not quite pure white a value of pure white would be 255 255 255 so what we want to do is make some adjustments to get to that uh, that 255 value so let's go ahead and we're gonna play with our levels tool right here and it's just three slide bars and what I'm going to do is move my uh, my right point here. This one that you can see, I'm kind of dragging left and right. Um, this is going to be for our lights. This one in the middle here is for kind of the mid-tones. And then our image, or sorry, our one on the right here is for our darks. And this still looks obviously very overexposed. So I'm actually just going to take my mid-tones a bit more to the left. And that's actually looking a lot better there. So I've got a pretty good quality image um, with our white background, and I might actually drag my levels just over just a tad more to make that white kind of pop more and get rid of the slight reflection underneath the product. So let's pretend that's kind of the optimal setting, and maybe one more thing we'll do is just increase the sharpness of our image here. So if we pretend that's the ideal editing setting that we want, what I'll do is hit this plus button next to profile, and I'm going to make a profile, and I'll just call it Mike. And what we could do inside of here is apply the profile. Now we have our image on a pure white background, ready to go for our website or any sales channel that we require. Um, so obviously when we hit live view, it captures the image. And I'm just going to take one more picture just as is so we can kind of communicate what's happening here. Um, let me just hit live view again. And obviously, as we can see, it remembers all our settings from our camera settings to our crop. Um, if I go up into the options in the top right hand corner, we're going to see snap options. And we have a couple different options here. Um, one will be to apply an editing profile after capture. So I will select this checkbox and I will go and select the profile that I made. Now what happens when I hit snap, it will capture the image and instantly apply that editing profile as we can see there. So this was the before, this was the after. 
So it's a nice way to do it. And users can actually save multiple editing profiles. For instance, maybe you have an editing profile that's slightly different for a dark product versus a white product. You can have multiple editing profiles inside of the software and um, you know change it as you're putting different objects through uh, kind of shooting them. So just to take this one step further here, um, let me just delete these previously shot images. And what I'm going to do is go into my 360 shooting mode. And just to communicate this with our 360 shooting, I'm going to select our correct turntable here. Again, we're working with our silver mid turntable. I'll choose the number of frames I want to shoot. Maybe that's 72. And I will hit my start button. And that will automate the 360 image capture process in a turn stop snap workflow. And again, as we capture images, it's automatically applying that editing profile that we created to give us the white backgrounds. Uh, the company name is Iconosys and the software is called Shutterstream. If you have any questions, please let us know. Thank you.